For correct clinical diagnosis, it's important to fully understand your TCP O2 results. Peripheral arterial disease or capillary impairment will both yield low TCP O2 values. However, so will cardiopulmonary disease, edema, infection, or inflammation. Here, we will describe the leg elevation test and the oxygen challenge provocations that will support the understanding of your TCP O2 results. The Periflux 6000 software will guide you step by step. The leg elevation test is a simple way to screen for macrovascular disease. It's usually done directly after the baseline measurement. Elevate the leg to a 30 degree angle, preferably using a wedge pillow, for 5 to 15 minutes. A drop of more than 10 millimeters of mercury, or more than 20% from baseline, indicates the possibility of macrovascular disease. Another test is the oxygen challenge. The patient breathes 100% oxygen in a non-rebreathing mask to discriminate if low TCPO2 values are caused by vascular disease or by edema or inflammation. Use a securely fitted mask. Use a pulse oximeter to verify both cardiopulmonary performance as well as the NRB mask function. Perform the test whenever you obtain a baseline value below 50 millimeters of mercury. If the oxygen challenge reports values higher than 100 millimeters of mercury or more than 100% increase from baseline, the low baseline value was caused by edema or inflammation and not by PAD or capillary impairment. This also means that the patient may respond well to hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Remember that patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease should not be subjected to an oxygen challenge.